Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Sleuth Intuition channel. All right, today we will be discussing Jeffrey Turco, professor at Purdue. Um, this so-called crime scene photo of the infamous F <clears throat> has been circulating on social media. Uh, I don't think it's been verified. So as of right now, me personally, uh, I'm going to say it's a, it's a uh, fake image. It's a fraud. It's a farce. It's a phony. So if you guys could participate in that poll, we're going to close that one out pretty soon. The question is, you know, do, what do you think about that image? You think it's legit? I think we're going to do a couple polls throughout this live stream here. And then we'll finish off with um, how Richard Allen basically injected the Odinism angle. He is the source of that. He's the first time, first time it was ever mentioned to his defense team was from Richard Allen. Let's just put it that way. Welcome back, Frank. Horihito. What's up, Don? Kevin? GP? What's up, Charlie? Silas? <clears throat> yeah, we're going to... We'll take a close as look as possible. I'm not saying it's fake. I'm saying it's not. I'm just saying until you can verify it, until we can verify it or get somebody um, who's actually seen those crime scene photos to say, hey, yeah, it's real. Please stop sharing it. Or, you know, that's that's just. It's just a fake, guys. And I'm sure they don't care. They're ready to go to trial. They're ready to show the court what they have, I think. Uh, yeah, Julie, I have it. So remember, guys, this, is, this has not been verified. But this has been circulating online. And the people who are posting it say that, yes, it is 100% from the crime scene in Delphi. Right, and it just popped up on social media. <clears throat> uh, what was the guy's name? James Roberts or something like that. I'm sure somebody will put it in the chat here. What's going on, Beth? Wanda says, I think it's a fake. Well, I know these types of trees are in Indiana, but they're, they can't be in shady areas. And I can't verify if I see them present at the crime scene with the photos that I have. And I don't know if the moss, which is usually on the north facing side, can tell us anything about it. So the moss would be basically pointing at the 300 road right in front of Ron Logan and right in front of the cemetery. We don't know much about the positioning of the crime scene and exactly what direction everything was staged. What's up, GP? 
That's that's bullshit. Good to see you, Wanda. Hey, Frederica. Katie says, where can we see the image? Sorry about that. <clears throat> I didn't know if you guys wanted to talk about it first, but I guess that's what we'll talk about. Doesn't matter to me. What's going on, Beth? CJ, what's up? Uh, to me, it doesn't look real, but I wouldn't bet money on it either way. Okay, so what do we know about the image? I think it was first presented on Facebook. Do we know who uh, put it out there? Do we know if it's been verified? What do we know about the image? Yeah, I think so, Frederica, especially with the delay with the discovery. But I mean, as long as as long as they're in the confinements of the law, when it comes to the prosecution, you know, they have their own strategy as well. You know, it's kind of funny if you're over here making up these theories and you don't even have all the discovery, you know. You may be setting yourself up to look really silly. Sila, sorry to hear that. Hang in there. Don't let anybody get you down. Not even yourself. Lisa, what's up? Yeah, I talked to Farmer. I think he's preparing to uh, rebrand his uh, YouTube channel. Mark Robert. Thank you, Beth. So somebody that was going by the name of Mark Robert, I think it was released first on Facebook, right? <clears throat> so, I mean, is this a real person or is that some kind of catfish account? <laughs> Cheek says, so fake in my opinion. Me personally, I'm not sure. Here, we'll do like a little side by side. And if I see any of this type of tree, they're much more mature. But what the hell do I know, right? Who is this guy? Sleuth? Sleuth, Sleuth Flamingo? All right, here we go. And why did they take, <clears throat> if this is from the discovery, why the hell would they take the photo at night? That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why would you use a flash and at nighttime? That doesn't make any sense. Unless the flash is just making it appear as if it's at night. Either way, it doesn't make sense. Uh, Katie, yeah, I do have one. So here's a little bit of enhancement that I did just real quick. And then here's the overlay. And the thing is, if you were doing a fake, wouldn't you try to replicate this somewhat? But in my opinion, it is a pretty decent match, especially right here. I thought this part was interesting. Um, but I didn't see anything to match up here with this blood splatter. Seems to be more here.
So I don't know if the image is real and the artist depiction isn't very, very good or it's been maybe, maybe warped over time. I believe it's referred to as a black cherry. I could be wrong. I found it earlier. They do grow in Indiana, but they're shade intolerant. And I know the moss could tell us a little bit if we knew anything about the positioning. But this is definitely the east side of that tree. And unfortunately, most of the crime scene images would be facing east, making this invisible to most of the shots, the camera, the pictures taken. <clears throat> so that would basically be like on the opposite side of this tree here that we're looking at. Now, this could be this type of tree here, just much more mature, but I'm not sure. Um, True Crime Talk, Brandon Woodhouse and Mark Robert Facebook accounts have been deactivated. Hmm. Light a brush fire and step, you know, step away. Watch all the ambulances and the fire trucks pull up. We'll call it social media arson. <laughs> it's the same MO, though. Wow, look what I did. Very Lee Kerrish. SJ11 says, why can't Alan just get a lie detector test? Maybe he said no. He's pleading the fifth. Yeah, Pam, there was a lot of talk. A lot of things were proven to be false, and some of the early rumors are proven to be true. That's what's very strange about this case. It's just... Old becomes new and new becomes old. It's like um, it's like the butterfly effect. It's like somebody keeps going back in time and messing with things. It's the hot tub time machine. Yeah, me too, Frederica. I would go and I would just look for a tree that looked like this. They call it um, uh, burnt chips, where it looks like burnt chips is the black cherry. Not that it actually has cherries, but it does grow like a cherry-looking little seed. And I think that's where it gets its name. And some of these trees do resemble what a more mature black cherry would appear to be, kind of like thicker bark, but not so much like these lines running down. But it would make sense if, let's say, this was the crime scene here. This is the large tree referred to. And let's say this is an immature black cherry. Which would have um, 
this burnt chip looking effect. And that would put the F on the back side of this tree here. And the moss should be right here on the north facing side. But I'm not seeing a whole lot of moss either. What's up, V? An E? <laughs> so let's go back to the original one. Well, let's stay on this one for a little bit. Because it kind of stands out a little bit better. But I'm not sure. This one looks like a downward motion here. So if you're trying to make an F, why would you be going in this direction? I mean, if this is real, it looks more like a palm print. Or I don't know. Did they say there was rope involved? But honestly, I don't think this thing's real. Let's keep going through some of these photos here. I'm just not seeing this kind of tree. Here's some moss, I think, maybe at the base. Yeah, that's definitely moss, right? And it is facing north. Because we know this trail goes right up into Ron Logan's property, right where his property meets the cemetery. And that is north. So I can't call it. Yeah, you got it, Katie. Luminol used at night. Yeah, but you wouldn't take a picture of it. You would put the light over it and then take a picture of it without the flash. So that you can get the glow. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of Luminol. Hey, what's up, Hiawatha? Same birch. Hey, speculation, good to see you. Well, <clears throat> it's if you know, I believe that they were separated at one point, and if she was attacked after he chased after her in the woods. Both of her hands were covered in blood. So if he attacked her to the neck and she grabbed the wound, you know, and then looked at her hands and maybe stumbled and put her hand on a tree or even just bumped against a tree, I think you could leave something similar. So if this was a fake, they were probably just running maybe their own little test. But I do see some droplets here. So I'm not sure if it could be caused by rope smacking against the tree. Yeah, so I'm calling bullshit on it. All right, go vote on that poll. I'm going to close it out here in just a minute. However long it takes me to open up YouTube. And open up the live stream. That's how much time you get.
Okay, the question was, F image circulating online is unverified at best. Bullshit, 100% real, or not sure what to think? Thirty-six percent of you agreed with me that it was bullshit. Yeah, I personally was getting like leaker vibes from it. Um, Thirty-one percent are staying objective, not sure what to think. Unverified at best, twenty-seven percent and hundred percent real. So I wonder who the five percent of you are out there. If you are the 5%, please drop a comment. I'm just curious. Yeah, birch trees are cool. You can actually kind of grab it and kind of make a piece of paper out of it. It's pretty cool. Thank you, Frank. Yeah, if you guys could hit the like button. So, yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell if it's real or not just by what we're looking at. But it really doesn't make sense to me why you would take a photo at night with the flash on. Unless you had something to do with the crime. <laughs> you know what I mean? You came back. But it does appear as if there may have been a sample taken. Maybe right here. Almost like you could reach up under and just grab a chip. And just drop it in a bag maybe. But I don't know. I'm not seeing this anything that has this um, same type of bark. But these images really aren't that good, so it's hard to call it. Yeah, SJ, I remember it was. Yeah, that's what I heard mostly was that it was like a K maybe. But that's just because people were trying to blame Kelsey. All these people who are trying to get Richard Allen off, one thing they have in common is at one point they blamed Kelsey. Or they blamed other people, right? They blamed Ron Logan. They blamed DP. They blamed um, Mike Patty, Kelsey. So just keep that in mind. That's what they all have in common. So think about that. Let that stir around the old noggin. Hey, what's up, Redfoot? Oh, yeah, I saw that image. Let me grab that. Well, actually, I can't open my Discord right now. But if any, if you want to email it to me, I'll put it up on the screen. Sometimes it messes with my audio. But, yeah, I did see the image. Uh, didn't Brandon Woodhouse claim to have the discovery? Why would he? And who the hell is Brandon Woodhouse? And who gives a shit? Yeah, that's true. Anna says it could just be taken online. I mean, it, I believe somebody created it. And I believe they did their best to replicate 
Barbara McDonald's um, image that she presented on court TV not too long ago. Uh, Sila says, Sus I suspect that it's a fake, but we will hopefully get all the answers if it's going to trial. Yeah. So I don't know, guys. I'm going to say it is bullshit. I don't even know if this kind of tree can grow down here in the shade. So this might be something like that's out in somebody's front yard. Out in the open. Like, hey, let's go run a test real quick. And then we'll lie about it later. What's up, freckled? What's not admissible? <laughs> Julia, you like that? Social media arson. Consider it coined. The internet is forever. Anna says, even if that image is true, the F isn't very impressive. Yeah, it doesn't even look like an F. I mean, you can tell it's man-made. You know, what Steve say? He said, there's no sharp angles in nature. Like, if it was going to fall naturally, it's not going to do like a 90-degree a angle. Yeah, this kind of looks like my smudging test that I did. Where I had my pinky bent a little bit. And I just kind of karate chopped it. Pop. And then as I was pushing away, I used my thumb. Very similar. Freckled, why would you even bring that up? <laughs> well, apparently he had like all this inside information. But to me, it's like a personality thing. It's like you've convinced yourself of something. For you, it's an absolute truth. And you're like, man, I just wish I know that it's true. But if I can just give all these folks out in social media land a little nudge, they'll see it too. And it's like kind of guilt free because they've actually... You know, in their mind, they, they're convinced 100% to be correct. So there could be no collateral damage until they realize, oh, shit, I was wrong. And it says, looks like elm, the black cherry appears to start out with smooth, silvery bark. Yeah, and then turns into this. Yeah, and then as it gets older, it kind of separates. And I could be misidentifying it. Like I said, what the hell do I know? Any arborists? Birch. Yeah, I had a great time. Man, I was so beat, though. <laughs> it was so big. Yeah, we went down that rabbit hole, Anna, a long time ago, and we couldn't figure anything out about it. But the consensus was that it was left there by um, the investigators, maybe some of the people that were working in the water. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what it looks like. Wild black cherry. Wild black cherry. Well, it kind of goes through a metamorphosis. Like it really, ch it changes as it gets older. Uh, Tammy Martin says, the idiots who are responsible for this probably can't spell. Well, then that makes me a suspect. Therefore, they can't illustrate or form a proper letter of the alphabet. Yeah, so you better put me on that list. Unfortunately. Too many lies and cover-ups. What's up, Big Marm? Big Perm? Don't mess with my emotions, Smokey. All right. So what do you guys want to talk about now? You want to jump into um, what's going on with the professor, Jeffrey Turco? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Hey, what's up? Candace says, I think it's fake. Why put the picture up after all the news of the F on the tree? Why wouldn't they have put it up before to show a crime scene photo? I think this is just seeking attention. Yeah, I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting Lee Kerr vibes from it. You know? They wanted to light a brush fire and just kind of step away and watch people like us just go nuts over it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. I image searched the bark. And it came back as the wild black cherry. And they do grow in Indiana. But they are shade intolerant. Uh, devoted to Mariah, what's up? Who would put this fake image out? Damn, people get wild these days. Well, like I said, I think it's um, a personality thing. Honestly. Or it's real. <laughs> but if it is fake, that's what I think it is. It's just they've convinced themselves of what they're what they're trying to tell. The story they're trying to tell is 100% real. They know it for a fact. Now all they need is for us to just kind of go along with it. Why won't you believe me? So here, take a look at this. You'll believe me now. And then when when it gets too hot, delete, you know, delete all your on your social media accounts. They'll be back. When the smoke clears, they'll pop right back up. What's up, Pam? Only way to really know is talk to somebody who was actually at the crime scene. Exactly. Hopefully somebody can validate this or eliminate it. Blood-soaked glove. Yeah, there is a little bit of... Um, splatter here and down here so i don't know what was going on i don't know what they used but it looks like it looks very similar to a test that i did with the side of my hand miss thing what's up Well, yeah, and you can't convict him either, Devoted. So we can't do mental gymnastics to convict him, right? But we got to use common sense. P. 
people are just too eager to be right. Because the same way the defense is not putting these suspects on trial, like Brad Holder and uh, Patrick Westfall, for all I know, they could be the other people involved, right? The prosecution was talking about. But I know that just like they're kind of pointing their finger at him, the same thing's going on with Richard Allen, right? With us. And I think that's what they're trying to, they're kind of trying to say. If you can point your finger at my client, well, I can point my finger at anybody because he's innocent. Right? See, now we're busy using names like Elvis instead of names like Richard Allen. It's brilliant. But it doesn't matter because they want to try him in public anyway, right? So what difference does it make? So they want us to conduct a trial as well on their behalf. And I'm referring to Richard Allen's defense team. Because when they persecute people like Brad Holder, and I'm not saying he's innocent. I don't know. A lot of that stuff is very suspicious. But either way, it's trial by Facebook. And they don't have to, there's no repercussion for them there in that realm. All right, so let's move on. Let me pull this. I think this is a Fox article, Fox 59, if I'm not mistaken. It is a little long winded. So let me go ahead and put this image up on the screen so I'm not just blabbing away. Okay, Jeffrey Turco, associate professor, German religious studies, medieval renaissance studies, comparative literature, German and medieval literature. Yeah, so this dude knows his shit. Okay, let's see what they have to say here. Fox 59. A motion filed by attorneys representing accused Delphi killer Richard Allen claims investigators misled the court about the interpretation of its interview with an expert from Purdue on the potential of pagan ritual in the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German. Okay, and before we go any further, let me ask a question because there's such a delay in the chat, right? Let's say, let's play devil's advocate. Let's say all of this is true. Great movie, by the way. Okay, let's say it is all real. How does that eliminate Richard Allen? So answer that question in the chat if you can. Let's say it was a ritualistic sacrificial killing. Those are runes. That is an F on the tree. How does that eliminate Richard Allen? Why is he not involved?
We'll come back to that. Uh, the girls were found dead of knife wounds on February 14th, 2017, near the banks of Deer Creek below the Monon High Bridge. Evidence revealed in the defense motion filed last month to suppress evidence in the case reported that Abby was wearing Libby's clothing when the bodies were discovered. A range sticks covered the girls and a carving in blood was found on a nearby tree. See, that doesn't sound right. They said carving. Early on in the investigation, detectives investigated a potential connection to Odinism, a Norse pagan belief system that practiced ritualistic sacrifice with runes and carved sticks laid out in a specific symbolic pattern. Try not to let this chat get away. Thank you, Dee. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is Black Cherry. I spent some time on it. I could be wrong, but I did spend some time on it. I wanted to make sure I got at least that part right. Uh, Base, what's up? Doesn't look like a rune at all. Hey, Melissa. I'm not sure. I don't think the image is real. It's hard to do a test, and that's why it's important. If And see, it's, that's why they did it. You know, a lot of people were asking the question, you know, we really want to see the real F. So they put it out there for them so they can go crazy over it. I'm getting arson vibes from those people. What's up, Shay? Well, yeah, <laughs> first thing I did. And then I went on to the moss because I'm a Boy Scout. Thanks, Ruckus. That'd be amazing if you could do that. That'd be awesome. What's up, Rhonda? All right, I think we're all caught up. We'll get back to the article. What's up, bird? Yeah, it's supposed to be a rune. Because if it's not, it doesn't go with the narrative. That must be bridge burner. It's your warning. Wait, we know who the professor is, allegedly. No, it's him. But the thing is, we can't really believe anything the defense has to say about anything that might be true. Because we've already proven. And I'm working on a video right now. It's like over a dozen where they've just really stretched the truth out. And that doesn't help their case. Because even if they would have just told the truth without kind of skewing reality... It could have still been pretty powerful stuff. But now we can kind of see patterns in their behavior. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is a smaller tree because for if it is a, a black cherry, that means it's pretty young for it to look the way that it does. So it can't be that big. But it can't be too small either. So it's got to be somewhere in between. Because it's definitely not a baby tree.
Uh, Rocky says, honestly, you have to consider the there were at least three people there. Perp, victim one, victim two. You have at least to consider that any one of them touched that tree causing the stain. So you're thinking it's was it's touch. Somebody um, rubbed up against the tree somehow. And that some of the tests that we ran, that's what it looks like. It looks like when I kind of rub my hand up against the canvas. Very similar. Uh, c says it doesn't eliminate Richard Allen. I agree, it doesn't. How? That's why I feel like this is some kind of a confession, some kind of veiled confession. And that's how we're going to finish the live stream. We're going to kind of go into how we know it was Richard Allen who spoon-fed the defense, that angle. They told us themselves. And we're going to read that before we get out of here. But we're going to finish this article first. Uh, looks like we got a scrub report. 195 people watching and only 60 have hit the like button. t Boz would not like that. Considering we are sponsored by Knockface. Thank you, Knockface. A little off that topic, but has anyone determined that Richard Allen was in the Air National Guard or the Army National Guard? The AFNG is very prominent in this area. Well, I believe he, we now know he was in the National Guard. And I think it is important what Kathy said about his hair. You know how it's always shaved? I went through all the images I have. It was always shaved. But all most of the images I have are after the fact. Right. Shout out to Frank. Thought we lost you for a minute. He's back. Had some complications, I think, on YouTube's end. And Knockface for sponsoring today's live stream. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it's pretty close, right, Karen? Hey, what's up, Cindy? Replay crew in the house. All right, we're all caught up. Okay. Representation from the state indicated that the Odin connection was dismissed even after several men with connections to Carroll County were interviewed about their admitted practices and beliefs. One reason cited by investigators for the dismissal to the theory was a claim that Purdue professor with expertise in Norse and Germanic folklore doubted the evidence. When Allen's defense team asked this summer for the identity of the professor in order to confirm his opinions, the attorney said they were told that the professor could not be located. Okay, let's stop here. I don't know if this is really investigators saying um, he can't be located. I think it's more like go do your own work. You know, like we're not interested in that theory. So we don't, you know, we're not following up on it. If you're interested in that conversation, you can either wait for the discovery or you can go find them yourself. Right? Like, why am I helping you unless I'm legally obliged? Right? It's not like we're purposefully leaving out the Odinism angle. We don't buy it or we're trying to stay away from it because we're still looking for the other people who are involved. Richard Allen might not be into this shit, but the people he was hanging around with, you know, maybe doing drugs, might be into that shit. Uh, when Allen's defense team asked this summer for the identity of the professor in order to confirm his opinions, the attorney said they were told that the professor could not be located. 
In a filing made Monday, the defense team told a court that it had recently acquired an audio tape of a September 19th, 2023 Indiana State Police interview with Jeffrey Turco. And that's the gentleman on the screen here. Uh, in a filing made this morning, the defense reeled that far from throwing cold water on the potential of Odin connection, on an Odin connection, Professor Turco actually found elements of the pagan rites present in the evidence shown by detectives and told investigators such as recently as last month after the state indicated it couldn't find its expert. Couldn't find or wouldn't do their work for them. Which is it? And also, it's hard to believe anything the defense says. Everything they say is through this skewed acid trip of a theory. You know what I mean? So they're taking you through some kind of weird acid trip. So once you take that filter off and pull out all the facts, you can't really trust what they're saying. Like right here, let's see. Like a lot of this opinionated shit. Far from throwing cold water on potential of an Odin connection, Turco actually found the elements of the rites present. You know, that's their interpretation. But in court, it's going to be somewhere in between the prosecution and the defense. You'll find that truth, right? Uh, nicely done. Welcome. I'm thinking that he brought weapons. He'd probably wipe them before putting back into his pocket. Well, that's what Brad from Outside of the Grid podcast was saying from his experience, you know, growing up with hunters, being a hunter. It looks like somebody wiped something on the tree, like possibly a blade. What's up, Tech Death? Good to see you. I think Richard Allen might have been doing meth. <laughs> Looks like he might have a pipe in his mouth or something. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, Freckled says, I listened to the Hannah Shakespeare tape. Oh, you mean the behind the scenes, uh, Julie Melvin, her notes? Yeah, there was nothing there. It's just theories and a lot of names, witness names, but all that stuff's pretty much public information now. I don't know why people were so obs uh, obsessed about all that. A little one says, does Odin practice human sacrifice? No, but apparently he sacrificed himself. And he did it in a very specific way, apparently. Uh, Big Worm says, are Richard Allen's lawyers public defenders or paid attorneys? Both. Uh, Redfoot says, I would have wiped it on the ground. I would have used some kind of cloth. I would have used my shirt or maybe some clothing laying around. I mean, you, you got to consider the dude's probably covered in blood. What difference would it make? Later, Ruckus. Take care. Take it easy. All right, we're all caught up on the chat. Let's continue on. Carroll County Sheriff's Deputy Tony Leggett swore under oath at this August 8th, 2023 deposition that a Purdue professor said that the sticks found on the ground on the girls did not represent Odinism or any type of cult worshiping or any type of group that could have conducted the crime. Okay, and this could be like splitting hairs, right? 
or not being specific like maybe he didn't say it was maybe he maybe that is a true statement but he did say that maybe somebody was using runes to communicate but also any not any type of cult worshiping or any type of group that he was aware of like he couldn't pinpoint it or connect it to a group but he still could have thought that it was some type of uh um some kind of pagan related to some kind of pagan some group that was practicing some kind of pagan ritual so both things could be true but i think it i think he could get in trouble for leaving information out i'm not sure how that works on september 18th 2023 oh wait let me finish that one Uh, the motion, which similarly quotes Indiana State Police Sergeant Jerry Holman on September 6, 2023, the prosecutor Nick McClellan told the defense via email, as stated before, we are trying to identify the Purdue professor, but no luck yet. May not be able to identify him or her. Like, how hard would that be, right? To me, that's more like, go find him yourself. And now the defense is crying about it. On September 18th, 2023, the defense filed its Frank's motion to disallow from evidence a gun found in Allen's house that the state claims was present at the scene of the killings. The motion was based on a claim that investigators misled the Carroll County judge in October of 2022 when they sought a search warrant for Allen's home, but did not indicate that there could be alternate, alternate, alternate suspects or theories for the murders. Well, isn't there always alternate suspects or theories? So I guess they're just asking, hey, we want everything. Not just what you plan to use in court, but I don't know what the law says. I thought you only have to show them what you plan to show in the courtroom. If you're not presenting it into evidence, why are you even talking about it? To me, it's like uh, this is def uh, some type of discovery from the defense. And they would like to include it. And it's like, okay, if, if that's what you want to do, go for it. The defense writes that in the most recent interview, Turco says it was a given that someone was trying to replicate Germanic runic script. See, that's what I'm saying. These both things can be true. Like they could be trying to replicate a Germanic runic script and also not, he may not be able to connect them to a specific group. You know, and that's what most of the experts that we've been able to talk to have stated. Uh, that a Harvard University colleague of Turco's agreed with his assessment. The Turco confirmed Odinism is an extreme neo-pagan, neo-heathenism ideology that has right-wing right racist connotations. Viking practiced ritual killings and sacrifices. He could certainly imagine that this was somebody's idea that when you do human sacrifice, you carve runes. But they didn't carve runes. Apparently, they, they painted them on a tree with blood. See, this, this words matter. That scenario seems entirely plausible to me. And Dr. Turco discussed how runes were thought to have magical significance and would be used in incantations, in rituals, and that there is a sacrificial connection in myth mythological poetry. These were things, again, where somebody who was sort of an Odin fanboy would likely come across. Four discovery document dumps by the state in September gave Allen's attorneys access to the state's evidence against their client. Turco's recent interview with ISP was included in one of those submissions. The defense claims that the interview and the knowledge of Turco's identity in August were, com were confirmation that apparently it it's what seems like a completely harebrained scheme. Holman and Leggett decided to claim that they did not know the professor's name, hoping that this would put an end to the defense looking into the Purdue professor. See, this is, it's all like story time. 
they didn't want to help with their investigation. They may not want to disclose a lot of that information because it may pertain to other suspects or it may not even be anything they're interested in anymore. Or they plan to prove that Richard Allen was responsible for that as well. But you guys get the point. <laughs> they talked to, they said they never talked to the guy. They said they couldn't find him. Richard Allen's defense says, well, we need to see him. Like, can you give us his name? No, you need to go find him yourself. They went and talked to him and he said, well, I don't know. I said it could have been. You know, I don't see what the fuss is all about on that. Because even if all of this is true, it doesn't eliminate Richard Allen. So I don't understand what they're doing, where they're going with all of this. But we're going to finish with this here. This is from the defense memorandum recently released. A little one says, if anything, it looks more like Wiccan rune symbols. It looks nothing like Odin. This professor is discredited in my opinion. Well, I don't say he's discredited, but you're going to have multiple experts up there, right? You're going to have cross-examination. So you're going to have opportunity to redirect the narrative during the trial. But when it comes to social media, it doesn't matter. It's a free for all. It's the mob. Yeah, go look into Patrick Westfall so you're not looking at Richard Allen. Very strategic. Some strategery going on here. Yeah, right? All right, let's read this. During one memorial, memorable, memorable visit on May 4th, 2023, myself... Attorney Baldwin and Attorney Rosie met with Richard Allen to discuss matters involving the case. At this time, Richard Allen was in a mental and physical state of deterioration and was nearly non-communicative. During the visit, Richard Allen repeatedly asked whether or not his wife was okay. All right, this is when he first began his little drip system of the Odinism theory which is probably the reason he could have left them at the crime scene, right? Richard Allen's attorneys are first introduced to this theory by Richard Allen. And here's the story of that here. Richard Allen repeatedly asked whether or not his wife was okay and if his family was okay. Why, Richard? Why? What's going on? You can tell me. He claimed on a couple of occasions that they were going to kill him. Who's going to kill you, Richard? Tell us. When asked who he was referring to, Richard Allen responded by saying, the guys in the Odin patches. Oh, interesting. Could this have anything to do with the crime scene that you left behind? Perhaps. Up to this point in the legal process, or the ritual that you participated in. Up to this point in the legal process, Richard Allen's defense team had never mentioned Odinites or Odinism to Richard Allen. Oh, really? Uh, Let's see here. 
lost my place. The first time I'm aware of any mention of Odinite involvement to Richard Allen was during a visit on August 25th, 2023, when Kathy Allen attended and a discussion occurred between attorney and client regarding ties to the crime scene. Interesting. The birthplace of the Odinism theory. There you have it, guys. We'll spend maybe five minutes talking about that. Let me know what you think. Yeah, we're not having a political discussion in here, CJ. Big Fish, what's up? So are those two guards actually Odinites? Is it on their Facebook or not? <laughs> I don't know. And I'm pretty sure just because you have Odin patches that you're part of this Odinism white supremacy group. That's crazy. The theory has been around since the beginning, so I will hear it out and see what the defense says. You mean the jury should? I don't know. I don't know what the hell he was doing. No worries, CJ. Now you're talking. No one knows anything. It's all speculation at this point. Now you're making sense. Miss Mollis, are the guards of Inlanders? No, they're guards who were wearing patches with the uh, with Odin symbols that aren't necessarily part of Odinism. Wanda and the defense team are so full of bullshit. Defense are so trying to plant reasonable doubt. Yeah, I mean, they're just running a bunch of games for social media. And it's working for most people. But yeah, we need to remain objective. Yeah, it's very objective. And also consider the source. Like Richard Allen is being accused of creating that crime scene. And now he's also seems to be the one who created the Odinism theory. Is my wife alive? Why, Richard? What's wrong? They're going to kill her. Who? The Odinist scum. Sounds like he's uh, spoon feeding all of this, in my opinion. He could have been planning this for six years. And we don't see any connection to Richard Allen, to Odinism, because he spent six years eliminating any trace of himself online. It's completely gone. So how can you tell me that somebody you have absolutely no clue about has no connection to Odinism or even to runes for that matter. You don't know shit about this man. Ode nights. <laughs> Sounds like cereal. Oh my God. Please stop getting political. 
If you guys don't stop being political, I'm going to start putting you in time out. I'm very objective. I try to stay objective. It's my goal. Uh, Karen says, who pays the hotshot lawyers for these types of cases? Do they all do it free for the clout and get paid as the court appointed? Or, yeah, they're getting paid. It's taxpayer money. Ugh. Richard Allen spoon feeds his defense team and his defense team spoon feeds social media. Question is who's eating it up? Not me. Just like I'm not eating what the prosecution has to say. We'll look at the facts. We can make up our own mind. Yeah, like a wannabe. Something new to them, right? And they become radicalized. Probably like they would if they would have taken up knitting. <laughs> All right, guys. If you could hit the like button on the way out, replay crew. Let me know what you think about today's live stream, and I will get back to you. But that is all the time I have. Welcome back, Frank. Not like you were gone, I think, a day. And for shout out to our sponsor, Knockface, with that super chat. Thank you. Vic says that Elvis dude's statements are hard to ignore. Did you read them? Did you hear them? Or did you hear the defense, their description? I mean, you really need to take it all with a grain of salt. Thank you, GP. Hey, Mandy. Let me know what you think. Thank you, Richard. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.